Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Walker Nor and welcome to a special episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where I make top 10 lists out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue and booty babe? Because inside, pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 are the Santa hats that drop off bosses in dungeons, and I pick them as number 10 because every time this time of year rolls around, I look at my Santa hat and it reminds me of Wrath of the Lich King when I first got it, and I'm just like, you know what? It's that time of year again. That sounds really douchey. Let's move on. 9. Number 9 is the gingerbread cookie quest for Great Father Winter, and this specifically stands out to me because 10 years ago when I first started playing WoW on my Billy character, I made these gingerbread cookies, and then the day after I did that, the event ended, and I didn't know I couldn't turn them in anymore, and so I was like, I'll put them in my bank, and there they have remained ever since. They've not gone stale, they're just, they're there. 10 year old gingerbread cookies, and I'm not gonna turn them in yet. Eight. Number eight is Mets and the Reindeer, and that's because everybody knows who Mets and the Reindeer is. You gotta save him every year. He's always trapped in the mountains, and I mean, there's a lot of dead people around him, and it's, it's skulls. It's almost like Mets and kills them and eats them and <laughs> takes their souls, but I... <laughs> seven. Number seven, Snowballs. Everybody loves Snowballs. Look, this guy loves Snowballs. He loves getting hit by Snowballs. This guy loves Snowballs, too. Everybody likes Snowballs. Although they don't knock you down like they used to. You gotta be in a party to get knocked down. It used to be everybody got knocked down. Where they started treating people like babies. They think you're a blizzard thinks you're a baby! Six. Number six is the mistletoe, and it's not just because you get to kiss a random orc and get stuff, it's more because you get these cool things like the snow thingy that makes it snow on people. It's like making it rain, but it's making it snow. Ha <laughs> ha! And then you get this reindeer reskin, which is a lot cooler looking than Mets and the reindeer for some reason. Well, I guess that means it is kissing a random orc and getting stuff, when you think about it. Damn. Five. Number five is the Smoky Wood Pastures because it's a reference to the uh, Hickory Farms, which is a company that sells a lot of prepackaged like meats and cheeses around the holidays. I know my grandpa always gets a thing from them for Christmas, and uh, so I just like that it's in the game. It's like a fun little reference. They got holiday cheese wheel, spicy beef stick, uh, Graku's homemade meat pie. It'd be cool to see how these things were actually made. In the game, oh my god, I just got a, it's a video idea. How are these products even made throughout the year for holidays? Ah, sound the alarm. Sound the video alarm. I don't know why I'm jingling my keys. It's like the stupidest alarm sound. Four. Number four is wrapping paper, because you do fun things like buy up a bunch of wrapping paper like so, and then you head down to your local auction house and put in a low item level range and search and then... Uh, find one of the cheapest items available, like this copper mace that I'm about to buy, and then you wrap it up, and then you run around and find someone to give it to you, and then you trade it to them, and hopefully they accept, and then you run away, and you've just made them happier, possibly, or just made them really angry. But either way, it's Merry Wintervale! Three. Number three is this mechanical toy corgi in the cave by Mets and the Reindeer, by all the other stolen toys and everything, and... I didn't even know they added this thing, but I, was, I saw it and I was shocked. I was like, whoa. I mean, they probably had it like four years ago and I haven't even noticed. But now I notice and I'm like, wow, this is really awesome. And then there's the toy train set too. Number two is the gnome machine because it turns you into a gnome in a Santa outfit. How awesome is that? There's be some guys like, oh, but what door? Gnomes are stupid and dumb. You know what? I like gnomes, okay? I like gnomes. There, I said it. One. da. If you couldn't tell, I was trying to do jingle bells with the numbers and it just, it was awful. I'm um, yeah. And number one is just all the decorations in the game. You got Christmas lights, you got Christmas trees, you got Christmas trees with lights, you got wreaths, you got all sorts of stuff. It just puts you in the holiday spirit, and I like that atmosphere in the game, and it feels good to have it for a few weeks. So thanks, Blizzard. Thanks, all of you, for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you.